This is Fat B, man. And in this hot sun, man, it's it's hotter than hell down here. Look at sweating. What we're gonna do is show you a quick takeoff on this. This is a uh, oxalic acid vaporizing. Now there's a lot of uh, pros and cons about it. If you don't want to lose your bees, this is the way to go. Uh, the fogging mineral oil is safe. It's just like this oxalic acid it's containing rhubarb and a lot of your green vegetables. It doesn't hurt the bees. The only thing I would do is I would vaporize this. I'd never mix it with sugar water and dribble it. You kill brood. This will not kill brood. You cannot overdose these bees on that. And what we're going to do is we're going to give this thing a treatment. This thing here is basically 100% might kill on the, the fog and 50 to 60%. This will kill trachea mites, kills varroa mites. You can do it with the brood in the hive, with the honey in the hive, open honey, sealed honey. It doesn't make a difference. If you do this, you're going to have your numbers for losses for the winter in the low single digits. Now, I run several hives at one location, and I run a lot of hives at my house. It's a learning yard, and an average year is 1 to 2 percent losses for the winter. Now, sometimes that's good, sometimes bad, but I'm doing it with a lot of students. So they're here to learn. If they bump a queen in August, September, they never build back, you're going to have losses. But on my out yards, I hardly ever use, lose a bee. This is, it's a little bit more expensive. I sell these on my web page. I uh, got a man local, he makes these things, a machinist. These are 175 bucks. Value one in your hives, what's a hive worth? If you're not losing bees, and you don't want to change the small cell, this will get rid of your mites. Now I got an old vitamin bottle here I use to carry oxalic acid in. And what I'm going to do is get my scooper, and this scoop comes right with the, the unit. Now my unit is five years old, and I use it pretty much on a regular basis. I'll put one applicator in there, and I'm going to close this up so I don't get clumsy. Now I use an old t-shirt, and what you want to do is stick the vaporizer into the hive slowly so you don't crush the bees. Get it about halfway, and then take your... Uh, your uh, t-shirt and just kind of push it in the entrance. You see I'm not wearing gloves. These bees are, are nice and calm. Now take your uh, thing. It's going to take you about a minute to get that up. And when you want to check it to make sure it's working, what I usually do, I have high top feeders on most of my hives. You'll see the vapors coming out of the top. I leave it hooked up because the unit's going to stay hot for a while. Let it cool down in the hive. The bees are going to circulate this all through the hive. Now this is, is uh, used pretty regular in uh, Europe, in the European countries. In fact, the fellow I talked to over there, he put me on this here. He said there's no way you can overdose with this. Now this is much better than putting chemicals in. This, this bottle here is probably going to contain about four or five ounces. This is enough to do about 400 hives. And uh, that's better than putting strips in there for five or ten dollars a hive and having something you can't eat. Now let me see if I'm getting any vapors yet. Nope, not getting no vapors. Get up. It takes a minute or so to get that hot. Once you see your vapors coming up, then you know you're cooking. She's barely cooking. Yeah, I got a little whiff of it. It's starting to work. You got see that bees are hanging on the front there. You got a lot of bees in there, and they're beating their wings. They're dissipating. You see the vapor starting to come out of the top. Now look here. I got a high beetle. That vaporizer had done run that high beetle cleared the top. See that? See the vapors coming out? Let me put this to the back here. You get a background. Can you get a background better that way this way? Yeah, you can see it. Okay. Once you start to see it, you're getting good good flow through there. What I'll do is unhook the battery and just let it cool off in there. It's going to take another 30 seconds to a minute for that to cool. There you can see the vapors coming out of the front now. See them? If I was to open this up, you can see it. Look at the vapors coming out. The bees are whipping it around in there. And you'll see when I open this up, the bees are not angry. They're not coming tearing out of there. They're docile. See? They're very calm. And that was loaded across there. 
What I always do is check the vaporizer, make sure you're getting a good burn. All right, see that? I got no vapor, no oxalic acid left in there. I got a good burn. There should be very little powder at the bottom. And when you got that, you got a good burn. Let it cool down completely before you do the next hive. The only disadvantage of this versus the smoker, the fogger, is this here takes about a minute per hive. The fogger, as fast as you can squirt it in there, you can walk around and do all the hives. It's a lot faster, but this is more effective. This is my preferred method, and I'll make a living doing this. Thanks for watching.